Okay, good evening everyone. My name is Emily from Taiwan. Um, I'm going to um, share the, uh, the things we are doing in National Taiwan Museum in Taiwan. And uh, this is, we try to create intercultural dialogue in National Taiwan Museum. So we initiate the multilingual tour project. So we have the multilingual tour hosted by immigrations, by migrations. Uh, majorly, uh, okay, what's wrong with the word Taiwan? Okay, uh, now we are all going to Asia right now. We are in Asia, we are in Southeast Asia. We are going to talk about the migrations from Southeast Asian countries to Taiwan and what are the things happening to them and what are the things that as a museum should do to help them, uh, help them to understand Taiwanese culture and also help Taiwanese people to get to know their culture because we have a lot of conflicts and misunderstanding happen uh, during the migration uh, is in, the, in the past 20, 30 years. Everything since uh, started 2014, we have the uh, exhibition of Islamic culture and lifestyle. Uh, people would say, why do you do that? Because they might be potential terrorists. So usually, we just ignore that and keep having the exhibition. If we care about all these discriminal words, then we don't need to do anything. Okay, and here is the exhibition during the, uh, during the Islamic culture. And uh, so when, uh, when we're doing the preparation, uh, all the Islamic communities in Taiwan or the Professors, researchers, they all contribute their knowledges, their collections, and all the things uh, for helping us to, uh, to put this uh, exhibition together. And we also use this place, let Muslims to come to the museum, and they have, they, they have, to, they, they have five times praying in one day during the Islamic, during the Quran. So uh, they do that in the museum, and right in front of Taiwanese people's eyes, and we will have the, uh, the, the lines blocked out an area for them only, and then we'll have security tell Taiwanese people, don't walk in, they are going to pray. And if you want to watch, you watch outside of this area. Okay, uh, we just want to let Taiwanese people know the diversities and that you should respect different culture. Just like Taiwanese people want other country to respect our culture, that's the same thing. Okay, so uh, after the exhibition, we found that uh, there are more and more uh, migrations come to the museum to visit us, to mis visit the museum. We think that's because, maybe because of the exhibition. So we think uh, because there are a huge uh, number of migrations from Southeast Asian countries. So we have brochure, since then we have brochure uh, besides uh, besides Mandarin and English, we'll have Vietnamese and the Indonesian version. So uh, this, this poster you see is, have, uh, have you ever been to National Taiwan Museum? A museum can really be a part of your life. Just come and join us. It's very, uh, and the price is very cheap, just one US dollar. <laughs> no, okay, that's, um, yeah, so we, we, if we have foreign uh, visitors from Western country, they were like, what, one US dollar? I say, yes, okay. And this one is the recruitment poster for the uh, immigrant docents. Uh, we can see the lady. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, this lady, she is definitely uh, she is the museum uh, museum docent, a uh, Taiwanese. And this lady, she is the interpreter. Okay. And these are the uh, migrant workers or immigrants in Taiwan. And this lady later on, she became one of our immigrant docent. She found that, uh, you know, being a uh, interpreter is just like a translation translation machine. But once she absorbed all the knowledges, and she will use her own way, her, her own language to and her mother language to tell the friends from her hometown the story about our museum is uh, totally different. Okay, so there are, uh, I show you the, uh, I'm going to show you the clip. Uh, it's three steps of becoming an immigrant docent. And of course, they also have some ex expectation from themselves. They are actually highly educated. They have very highly educated background. Look at, uh, uh, like the lady here, uh, she is a um, English, I mean, uh, an MBA uh, graduate from England. 
But when she gets to Taiwan, she only started from the elementary school. The government will ask her to go to elementary school in the afternoon, in the evening, uh, to study uh, the whole pro to go through the whole process. Then she will get a, a Taiwanese ID card. That's the that's the a, a must process. Okay, and she is uh, from Thai. So when they have the uh, the, the native language uh, tour in the museum, they will wear the traditional clothing to show uh, their own identity. mọi người đi thăm và làm quen với Đài Loan hơn 100 năm về trước. Đại sảnh chính là kiến trúc tinh tế nhất của bảo tàng. Đứng giữa đại sảnh ngẩng đầu lên, có nhìn có thể nhìn thấy cửa sổ trời bằng kính quý nét hoa văn. 
ánh sáng chói trang rực rỡ chiếu xuống sẽ tạo ra một bầu không khí hoa lệ cao quý đặc sắc của lá cờ này là có hai mặt ngày và đêm với một mang ý nghĩa bảo vệ ở dân dân Đài Loan suốt cả ngày và đêm trên cửa sổ mắt châu chúng ta có thể nhìn thấy sáu loại trái cây đặc sản của Đài Loan chẳng hạn như là chuối nho và thế phần trái cây còn lại hy vọng các bạn đến viện bảo tàng tham quan và tìm ra đáp án nhé is that now we approximately have 13 immigrants who is working with us. But we, even we say there are 13, uh, 30 people, uh, 30 immigrants, uh, but uh, there's only actually 10 people can really use, uh, can really become the tour docent because uh, some of them, they are busy, they have work to do, they are just too busy, so only 10 can be really, uh, like every Sunday they come and then give multilingual tour. But the rest 20, we just left them there, definitely no, we let them become our networking partners. And here's the number of immigrants from Southeast Asia. Uh, we can see that uh, the so-called immigration from Southeast Asia in Taiwan, which means they came to Taiwan because of marriages. So that's why most of them are mothers. Okay, the largest group is from Vietnam and the second largest group is from Indonesia. Okay. And the next one is the number of migrant workers from Southeast Asia. Uh, the largest group is uh, Indonesia. And uh, from Indonesia, uh, the, the, guy, uh, the young men, they usually work in the factories. And the ladies, the young girls, uh, they, most of them work in the nursery home. And they only have, uh, every month, they only have one Sunday, can come out to participate in all kinds of uh, events that we, we prepare for them. So that's something we will keep uh, keep to keep trying to tell the factories or the business band, uh, the, the the president of the, some company to give them more breaks. Okay, and uh, actually these two numbers combining together now in Taiwan they are already the largest, the, no, not the largest, the fourth largest ethnic group in Taiwan. The Southeast Asian regions people migration they are now the fourth largest ethnic group in Taiwan. So understand their culture is something very important and the government cannot do that very well so the museum can do that but before that before so that i i know it will be recorded so i will try to not to not to do too much criticizing about the governments even though we belong to the government as well okay uh, we're under the jurisdiction of ministry of culture and we're collaborating with all these uh, public sectors and uh, especially the immigration agency. Okay, they are always, when we have the events, they're always like, oh, we, we'll help you, we support you, we give you all the uh, administration help, all the things. I say, yeah, wonderful, thank you so much. And you guys don't come, they say, why not? I say, because if you come, you will check ID and then everyone will run away, something like that. Or you can come and just wear the casual, casual clothing, do not wear the vest or the uniform. Something like that. Okay, well, I'll explain that later. Uh, and the other, uh, other public sectors, they helping us on different aspects, so I really appreciate them. Uh, I think as a part of the public sector, the museum, our, uh, the, we are a national museum, as a part of the public sector, so we should be able first making, creating the connect, uh, networking with the public sectors first and then they will actually help us a lot. Like the foreign affairs, police, you know, uh, immigration agencies, they will help us a lot. Even though I always uh, tell them not to come. <laughs> they say, don't worry, we will not come. We will come uh, wearing, uh, we will not, we'll come not wearing the uniforms, okay. And these are the NGOs. Uh, actually, the NGOs in Taiwan, they are like 10 years advanced uh, before the government steps. Okay, so we count on them a lot. So after we have collaborating with the government, other, uh, the other public sectors, and then uh, the uh, NGOs are become very important networking. So these are the... Okay, that's uh, because we don't have that much time, so I just quickly go through. And uh, in your, uh, if you got a brochure or something, then you will see the Q Taiwan app provided by the GWO, and uh, they are 
uh, they have they give a lot of concerning about the migrant workers, not immigrants. Another another immigrant come here because of marriage, but they focusing a lot uh, like the human rights, the legal rights for the migrant workers. And this another one. This is migrant migrants literature awards. They think starting 2014, we have this literature award in our museum, uh, the award ceremony in our museum, uh, three years in a row. And even if some other city government they want it, uh, they want them move the, the ceremony go to the other cities, but they still want to uh, collaborate with us because we're so flexible. <laughs> we are uh, we we are not that. Um, yeah, we are very flexible. Okay, uh, one, one gossip about this is, I really want to say that uh, this is the literature and National Taiwan Museum is a museum of natural history. So why we work with the literature? Because there is a museum that who's supposed to host it. Uh, the director, former director talk, uh, told me that his staff said, Migrants Literature Awards, how can migrants write good articles, they just like writing notes, writing whatever, you know, it's not literature, they just writing notes, okay? It's not a literature level. And the director was very disappointed, uh, frustrated, disappointed, and at the same time, because I don't know that, but at the same time, I talked to the person who is, uh, who is in charge of this literature where I say, our museum is in the best spot of Taipei, downtown Taipei City. Uh, it's the best place to come uh, have the uh, award ceremony. So that's why we start working together. And this is another one. And the book, uh, later on I will, I will say that, how we collaborating uh, together. Uh, just show you the book, that's about the, yeah, it's all Chinese, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's all Mandarin. It's about uh, the hometown, hometown, hometown dishes. Hometown dishes from Southeast Asian countries. So it's the interviews of the uh, ladies, uh, the immigrants from six different countries, and they introduce four, five, or six dishes from their hometown. The hometown that made that that make them miss their hometown, miss their mom, miss their miss their uh, childhood memory the most. And these are the uh, two NGOs in Taichung. Uh, we, because the exhibition we have is going to move to Taichung uh, in, in this June, uh, which is when I go back to Taipei, I'll go right to Taichung for the preparation, for the curation. Uh, and these uh, two NGOs, their base, their base is in this huge building in Taichung, right next to the Taichung, uh, uh, the central part of Taiwan. Sorry, Taichung is the central part of Taiwan. The whole, whole building are for the migrant workers. Uh, there are four major migrant workers, uh, four major nationalities. So they're all in here. It's a very exciting, uh, exciting place. You can go exploring. You know, they have the supermarket and the cashier with all the four nations flag, but no Taiwanese flag. So when I go there, buy something, I say, which one I should go? There's no, oh, so, um, okay, so I pretend maybe the Philippines, okay. Maybe they speak English, but they speak perfect Mandarin. <laughs> okay, and also we work with foreign students. Uh, foreign Students Association, uh, especially the International Muslim Students Association, because that's what what we are questioned. We're questioned by the uh, by the audience, uh, not the audience, by the visitors all the time. How do you know that they are not ignore them? Okay, and definitely we also besides the groups, we also work with uh, because getting to know more people. So we have we know more Southeast Asian communities or even the persons. So you will see. Uh, these pictures here are the ladies from uh, from Indonesia. Uh, she's a migrant worker. She's been working here for six years, and now she wants to come to Taiwan to be a uh, to study in the graduate school. She's still applying for that. And this uh, the, this guy is also a migrant worker. He is a P, uh, not PhD. He is a university graduate, uh, theater theater management or stage management, performing art, but. He said he cannot make any, he cannot get any opportunities back in hometown. So he has no choice but only come to Taiwan to be the migrant worker, the laborers. And uh, he's also an artist of the sand painting. Okay, so we have, uh, also we have three steps for uh, how to get through to the uh, uh, cultural equality in the museum. Uh, the first we visit, let, uh, we help everyone, uh, we try our best to 
let immigrants visit the museum without language barriers. So we have, have all these. Um, so we just go through quickly. It's all in the languages that I don't even understand. And one thing we did is, if you are the, trans if you are the translator for the Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese brochure, we will put your name on that. And as a, re as a credit to appreciate your support. And another way that we uh, privately say, because his name or her name will be on it, so she, she will definitely translate exactly the same thing. Because we don't even have anyone else to help us proofreading. <laughs> okay, but that's just a joke. But um, we even say that to them. I say, uh, we'll put your name on it. And they say, okay, we'll translate it as uh, to, to the to the best, and, I, uh, and when they know their name will be on it, they will say, okay, I'll also ask one of my friends to come here to do the proofreading, because sometimes uh, the knowledge of the museum is not that easy, they need discussions. Okay, and then the next is multicultural events in National Time Museum. At the step two, the immigration docents start participate into this stage. They help us to, uh, to communicate with uh, immigrant uh, migration communities in their native languages, which we can, show, we can ensure that uh, the communication will be in the right way. Okay, and this is the backyard, uh, backyard garden uh, events in uh, backyard garden, uh, the events in the backyard garden of the museum. Okay, these are the things we do here. You see they have the Indonesian rock and roll band. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we actually we get a we get a complaint letter for this event. They were like, so early, why there's a rock and roll band? <laughs> I said, this is not your business. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> we do everything uh, with the uh, you know yeah we could, you know one thing very interesting is that you see the museum that the the, uh, the stairs and the, the, here is the park everything uh, in the stairs is belongs to the museum, and everything outside of the stairs that belongs to Taipei City government. So as long as we do not stand on the ground, <laughs> then everything is legal, as long as the museum has proved the event to do. So <laughs> we have the rock and roll band <laughs> here. So they are very also helping, because we also tell them these very funny and strange rules in their languages, in their own, in their native language. They were like laughing so hard and said, okay, they suggest themselves performing on these two very high extensions because the, 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 the audiences won't stand on that because they think that's very dangerous. So they were standing on the, on the extension to do the performance. Really appreciate their, um, their helping us for, to go through some problems. This is the event we collaborate with uh, the Vietnamese student group. And that's we have the, stu uh, the, the second generation from Vietnam. They teach Taiwanese people speaking Vietnamese before they can get the Vietnamese food. Okay, so just, I don't want to give Taiwanese people an easy time that you can just get food uh, so easily. You need to learn, this, learn to speak some uh, Vietnamese, and then you can also, and then that's the first, the, fir uh, the first, how to say that, the first gate, and then the second gate is come here, they have to learn to say the name of the, the Vietnamese snacks, okay. And this is collaboration with uh, this the group. Even uh, even though I said Indonesian National Open U Open National Open University, which is an online educational system, um, they are all migrant workers. So we have uh, we talk to uh, we we have the uh, how to say that we talk to the police station in the neighborhood area. So they help us clear the the route the road, and then they have the parade from Taipei Main Station all the way along the street and walk into the museum and have their the celebration, their National Day, their Independence Day. So that's what we're doing. Actually, me and my, uh, me, myself, and the Indonesian friends, uh, the, the, the student board members, they were also shocked because there's so many people. <laughs> okay, this is the major performance inside the museum. Uh, that's uh, uh, from the East Java Island. It's called Rayong. It's a spiritual performance. Uh, uh, we have the same thing in Taiwan, so we don't worry about that. Okay, and this, the, after finish the major uh, performance, then he will go see performing on the extensions. The crowds here, it's okay, because they just come here to watch, okay, as long as the performance is on here. Everything is legal, okay. <laughs> 
And they also know the rule. I told them, be careful, because we didn't apply to use the, the park area. So, so many crowds and the instruments playing here, you know, so the park security cannot see them. <laughs> so they're like <laughs> helping me not let the, the, uh, the, 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 the park security see that, and then um, they, they will talk to our security, so that's not a good thing. Okay, okay uh, the next thing is uh, we, from cultural equality to cultural inclusions, uh, we want their opinions become the part uh, of the, uh, become, can, uh, can into the policy making. So uh, that was hosted uh, in last year, but we all know actually the immigrants and mi uh, migrant workers, the immigration, uh, migration communities and migrant workers, they all know it is impossible. Okay, the, it's, it's a long way to have the, to change the policy or it's a long way to the policy making for uh, equal rights to the migrant uh, migration communities and migrant workers. But it's a good chance that the government hosts a forum, international forum on this, and we have about like 20, uh, 220 people gathered, crowded in the, uh, at the scene, and we have the forum. Okay, this is another uh, the inclusion we try to do is we have this exhibition and invite uh, Southeast Asian friends. They provide us the uh, ideas, suggestions, the pictures from their hometowns, and then the collections from their hometown. They bring some. They bring the things uh, all the way uh, uh, from from Southeast Asian country to Taiwan. They say they must use that to make the real hometown food. So, uh, and the and the exhibition is about the Southeast Asian spices and the food plants. So we have seven languages brochures. That was a disaster because all the, uh, all the translators, they all come to our offices, help us to do the proofreading, make sure that everything is correct. We didn't break the sentence in the wrong place. So you also have this one, if you got a brochure, if you didn't get a Chinese and English one, congratulations, you'll feel exactly like when the migration, <laughs> they walk into the museum and see only Chinese, see only Chinese uh, brochure. <clears throat> okay, this is the opening ceremony for, for the exhibition. And this is a group that they have a very long time collaborating with us. And uh, these, of course, are the superior governors, uh, the deputy director from Indonesian Trade Office. Uh, these two are the directors from Malaysian Trade Office. Okay, and this is inside the, uh, inside the exhibition. We have all these things collect, uh, collected from uh, Southeast, Asian, Southeast Asian communities, uh, the migrations, migrant workers, foreign student group. And also we still the same. We have, uh, we, we have the, the immigrant help us to give the tour in the museum. So if, if the visitors are from the same uh, country, some, same nation, they will, use, they will give tour in, the, the, in their native languages, but if the visitors are Taiwanese people, they just use the uh, Mandarin. It's not a problem for them. You see, uh, sorry. Uh, this one, uh, all the kids, they have the uh, Indonesian national flag is because that day is the Indonesian, Indonesian Independence Day, so the tour, the, the docent, she made a huge bag of Indonesian flag and tell everyone that it is Indonesian Independence Day today. <laughs> okay, so that's, uh, that's very interesting. Um, <laughs> And not just in Taiwan, um, we uh, the, the Ministry of Culture asked us to have uh, the collaboration exhibition with Southeast Asian region countries. So the first, the first uh, exhibition we have done is go to Vietnam, Hanoi, and have the exhibition. And this lady, she's one of our immigrant docent as well. So from the signing MOU, to end the discussion and, and preparation for curating. She is the middle person helping on everything. You know, in the beginning, these two sides, uh, the, the museum people from Hanoi Natural History Museum and we, we think, yeah, maybe English is fine. Uh, we can communicate with each other. But when she showed up, I, I recommend her to our international curator. And they were like, oh, great, someone speaks perfect Mandarin and Vietnamese. So <laughs> since then, no one speaks English. <laughs> okay, so everything, uh, she helped us on everything. And she also uh, uh, go to the Vietnam with our directors and curator team and have the uh, opening ceremony. 
Okay. Uh, there's more. Actually, foreign students' participation as multilingual docents is also something very important in the museum. Uh, I insist to show. Um, my name is Mimi, and I am an English docent from Australia. Hi, my name is Yao Gao, and I'm from Spain. Hi, I'm Ding Xu, I'm from Taiwan. Hi, I'm Wataru, I'm from Japan. Hello, I'm Murphy, I come from Indonesia. Hi, my name is Shannon and I'm from California. Because as a native person, I learned so much through this program and it is unbelievable. And that really helped me um, see Taiwan in a new light just when I was walking around Taipei and seeing all the buildings that came from the different periods of history and understanding where they came from. But not through just storytelling but also with actual examples and like objects or like artifacts and um, architecture that you can see with your own eyes. And then uh, I can talk to my friends about the museums and let them to come here. Because this museum was built by uh, Japanese people, so I learned, I learned about my country. I think some of the interesting things that have happened was people drawing comparisons between the history of Taiwan and maybe histories of other countries. So I had some visitors who had, who had been in Korea, and they told me about how different the Japanese colonization of Korea was. Because you're interacting with a lot of information, you are forced to really take it in and process it and relay it back to your um, audience members. And in that way, you get to experience Taiwanese history firsthand. And that really helped me in understanding my own Taiwanese identity as a Taiwanese American. Story event is more about getting in touch with the lesser known parts of Taipei and Taiwan's history. Into these objects that you can digest with your own eyes. A fun way to spend your morning or your afternoon and actually getting out and seeing it in real life and seeing how it has contributed to Taiwanese society. Because all the buildings have their own stories and they reflect different time periods of the time. I think you're really engaging with um, the material regarding the place that you're visiting. <laughs> Uh, they are the uh, missions for of multilingual tour service in National Taiwan Museum, uh, and all these three things I already mentioned previously. And these, uh, the two projects, uh, the immigration dosen project and the foreign student dosen project, we, uh, we have the promotion together all the time. So uh, we really appreciate, uh, actually, uh, the directors and the Minister of Minister of Culture, Minister, uh, Min Minister of Minister of Culture, they support us a lot. So thank you for your time. Thank you.